Today, we are witnessing the release of sea turtles captured from cold water on the Gulf Coast of Texas, the Gulf of Mexico, Padre Island National Seashore, Padre Island, Texas. These turtles could not have been rescued without the aid of the local citizens, the National Park Service, and one Tony Amos. Little guy there. Let's see if we can get a word with Adam Reamer of the National Park Service. Well, uh, we had a couple of cold events uh, come down and hit the coast, which uh, really affected our green sea turtle population. Uh, I get what's called cold stun, and uh, basically what happens is they, they have no control of their bodies anymore. They uh, basically shut down. Uh, so we rescued hundreds and hundreds of these turtles, and uh, they've all been to a rehab facility where they've gotten fluids. Uh, they've gotten all the rehabilitation that they need, and uh, today we're going to release those turtles so they can uh, go out and hopefully live happy lives. Under the Endangered Species Act, these turtles are considered endangered in Florida, Pacific, and East Coast. Here in Texas, they are considered threatened. The numbers for these green turtles, also known as the Texas turtle, has increased due to the rescue and protection intervention efforts of the National Park Service and the University of Texas Marine Science Institute in Port Aransas, Texas. Growing awareness from the local residents has also contributed to the preservation of the species. What is your opinion on the migration of these turtles? Have they changed their migration pattern in the last few years? Uh, it's hard to say. Um, I'm by no means an expert on that, but uh, I know that there's uh, there's quite a few juvenile greens that uh, that exist in the Laguna Madre naturally. The green turtle is not actually green in color, but a malted brown. The name comes from the greenish body fat. South Texas inshore waters, including Laguna Madre, provide an important breeding habitat for these turtles. Padre Island National Seashore is the favorite spot for nesting. Uh, this is really kind of a natural event. Uh, but luckily we have the, the ability to be able to go out and pick up you know, some of these turtles and give them a chance. Thanks to the efforts of the National Park Service, these little guys will live to breed another day. Man, it feels really good to do it. Thank you. From the Padre Island National Seashore, Padre Isles, Texas, this is Jackie Bales reporting on the situation for humanity.